Can you tell me, um, what, what fascinated Alan most about amnesia? Well, I remember he seemed most interested in cases that involve patients with a temporary memory loss. He wanted to know what could cause such a loss. Oh, really? Ah, uh, well, what does cause that kind of loss? Sometimes it has to do with the patient being extremely unhappy with his present life. They want to die or punish those who caused the pain. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is all of a sudden making a lot of sense to me. Look, would you, would you mind? I have to make a phone call. It's very important. Just don't go away. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Uh, hello, um, this is Monica Quartermain. Can I speak to Mr. Donnelly, please? Oh, he's, he's not. Do you know where he is? Uh, no, um, I didn't know he was at the, at the television studio. I, I guess I'll, um, well, I guess I'll just try him there. Thank you very much. Dr. Monica Quartermain, please report to surgery staff. Dr. Monica Quartermain, please report to surgery, stat. Oh, um, thank you. Thank you so much. You have been most helpful with this. Look, I, can I ask one more favor from you? Sure. Well, I have to get a hold of Sean Donnelly, and they just called me to emergency, and uh, uh, they told me that he is at the television uh, station. That's WP... Uh, LC, yeah. something, whatever it is. Could you call, ask him to get in touch with me? I'd appreciate it so much. Of course. And tell him it is urgent. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hi. All right. Uh, How'd I go with Nurse Clark? I really don't have time to talk about it now, Rick. Uh, look, Amy, um, if Sean Donnelly calls, will you tell him to uh, come over here, wait till I get through with OR, because I need to see him. It is very important. Please remember that. I think we better go. Yes. All right. What are you looking at your watch? Where are you going? I've got to get back to Portuck. Why? So you can can some more peaches before sunset? I'll tell you what you can can, Jimmy Lee, and that's your attitude. You and Father are just going to have to accept the fact that I'm staying in Portuck with Charity. How are you going to make it work? You can't practice medicine under the name of, of Simon Alexander? Then I won't practice medicine. There are other things that I can do. But I'll tell you, I've grown to accept and to like Simon. And so has Charity. So you're going to spend the rest of your life as this Simon guy, huh? I don't know. Maybe after a few years, I'll, I'll tell Charity the whole truth. Then maybe I'll be able to set up a small medical practice there at Pawtuck. You've got it all figured out, haven't you? No. I'm just kind of taking it one day at a time. But the one thing I can guarantee is I've never been happier in my life. Tell me one thing, all right? Did Monica buy your amnesia act? Absolutely. Why shouldn't she? I got my routine down pat from the tough psychiatric nurse at General Hospital. Mm. Well, Claudia, I don't know. I think maybe this is just maybe a bit too common for me. Then it's perfect for you. I'm not sure that this really is right. I, it's a bit obvious. You might have better luck pulling it off, Tiffany. Luck has nothing to do with it, Monica. Ladies, there are plenty of beautiful dresses for us to try on. As a matter of fact, I have this one right here. How's this, Tiff? Oh, this is much, much better. Uh, do you have this in my size? I doubt it, Tiffany. I think you'll have to go to the big girl shop. Tiff, I'm sure it will fit you. Please, just write this way, and I guarantee results, okay? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's obviously... Roped another victim in for tonight? Well, actually, she said it was someone special. <laughs> well, it's probably Ted Holmes. Heard that she's been seen around town with him lately. Really? Mm -hmm. I heard that she was seeing a lot of Sean lately. Well, maybe lately, but not tonight. No, definitely not.
Tiffany, I am really between a rock and a hard place on this thing. Now, Edward swears he's going to drop the fraud charges if I get back the money. Well, you don't really have any choice, do you? No, and I don't like it. I'm either poor and free or rich and in jail. <laughs> Just how poor are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about you. <laughs> I love the way you make me laugh, no matter what's going on. Would you just stop go. worrying? I've got plenty of money for air. Oh, 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 it's hot. Okay, all right. Just, oh, just sure. Get, get out of the dress. Get out of the dress oh, before it stains. Oh, that's, oh, that's it. oh, it's killing me. Oh, 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 oh. All right, cold oh, water. Oh, oh, burn. oh, oh, God. That's it. That's it. Ray. Oh, oh. Look, I just know I'm interrupting something, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, old buddy. Uh, look, I uh, can you hang on a minute? I'll take this one upstairs, all right? Just hold on. This may take a while. Oh, uh, could I have your uh, jacket? I'm freezing. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, here you go. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. All right. Uh, Robert, I'll uh, be right with you. Oh, give me your dress. I'll try to get upstairs and soak it for you. Oh, thanks. Get your robe. Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. Hang on. in the same day. What are you doing here? Well, you know, you took the words right out of my mouth. Was Sean expecting you? Yes, he was. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but he must have forgotten. He's, uh, well, how can I say this delicately? Indisposed. Oh, I can see that. You slut. I had to get you several times last night. Did you get my messages? Oh, uh, yes, I did, Rick. I just, um, I got in late, and I, I didn't want to disturb you. I don't know how important it was that you get hold of Sean and have some questions answered. Did you find him? Um, what happened? No, I didn't. He was tied up. Amy, if anyone uh, is looking for me, I'm going to be in the cafeteria. Hi. Hi. Do you mind if I join you? Oh, I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't. No, you didn't, Rick. You didn't. I'm trying to help you if I can. I know that. I know it, and I appreciate it. But this is something that I have to do all by myself. Look, if this hearing of Sean's upsets you that much, why don't I go with you to give you some support at least? Thanks. I just may need it. You'll be fine. Tell the truth. Well, yeah, I will. Uh, once I know the truth, I'll be happy to tell it. What are you saying? Do you still have doubts as to whether Sean killed Helen? Look, Rick, I cannot talk about it, please. Fine, you don't have to confide in me, but I would at least talk to Jake. Sean's facing the judge, but the outcome of that hearing affects your future as well.